Minus 15 seconds. Falcon 9 is the flight pressure. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Rocket 9 is supersonic. We are one minute and seven seconds into flight, and as you can see, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off. Coming up next, you'll hear Max Q. Vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. And as you just heard, the vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. That's the point at which the stresses on the Falcon 9 are highest than they are at any other point during the flight. Back engine chill. Everything is looking nominal right now. Now coming up, you're going to have three events happening in rapid succession. The first is MECO, which stands for Main Engine Cutoff. That is where all nine of the Falcon 9 first stage engines will shut down. That'll be followed by stage separation. That's where stage one will separate from stage two. And then we'll have SCS-1 or second engine start one. That is where that MVAC engine, that, vac, that Merlin vacuum engine on stage two is going to ignite and carry stage two onto orbit. We hear that MVAC chill is looking good. That's where we bleed a little bit of that super cold liquid oxygen into the engine. Set shut down. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And as you can hear by the applause and see on your screen, we've had a successful stage separation and ignition of that second stage MVAC engine. Now coming up in about 25 seconds, we're gonna have fairing deploy. So those fairing halves are gonna split away from stage two and make their way down to Earth. And stage two will continue on with the Mirad Petit satellite onto its parking orbit. In fact, D had a really solid startup and all of the temperatures are looking really good. The burn is going nominally right now. And as you just saw, we just had a successful separation of that fairing. Once we get into the vacuum of space, we don't need it anymore, so we get rid of that extra second mass. Second stage is following a nominal trajectory. And as you just heard, second stage is on a nominal trajectory. Now, there are going to be two stage two burns for this mission. The first is this one that is taking the spacecraft to its parking orbit. Acquisition of signal Once it Bermuda. shuts down, it'll coast for about 18 minutes before relighting over the equator to raise Mira Petit to its deployment orbit, the geostationary transfer orbit. Now, while stage two is doing its job, stage one, it's making its way back home down to Earth. Now, it's going to execute two burns. The first is the entry burn, which is coming up in about a minute and 50 seconds. So the first stage is traveling at roughly 2,300 meters per second. And what this three-engine burn is going to do is assist gravity in rapidly slowing the stage down. If we didn't do that, it would overheat and it would break up. This slows it down and protects it as it enters the Earth's thicker upper atmosphere. 
Now the second of those stage one burns is called the landing burn. This is a single engine burn where we light that center engine E9 and it brings the vehicle's velocity down rapidly from about 250 meters per second to about two meters per second in order to gently land the rocket on the Jones ship.